Hello guys and welcome back to Sportic and today we have on Sportic News Andy Murray and his emotional farewell to what he calls his tennis home, Miami. Of course, Andy Murray recently lost in the Miami Open. However, she did play pretty well. Two solid wins against Matteo Berrettini, then Thomas Martin Echeverry and he was very proud in defeat against Thomas Mahach. He did get hurt at the very end of the match but did fight until the end as he always does and it is going to be his final Miami Open and that video will be played at the end for you guys interested and also an emotional farewell will be played at the end alongside Andy Murray sticking around to sign some autographs like the true champion he is. It was not to remember for Murray even though he lost he fought to the end as it says here he did scream in pain and he was quite sore but the warrior he is, he kept on fighting. It's the beginning of the end for Andy Murray. He's on a bit of a farewell tour. He accidentally leaked at Dubai or Doha, forgot which one, which tournament, that he will be in the final few months of his career. A lot of players, a lot of players, a lot of pundits, critics are saying that he should have retired a long time ago. He's no longer seriously contending for tournaments. But if he wants to play, he can play. He can play until he doesn't want to play anymore. He can play until his body fully breaks down, he can do what he wants, he's amazing, he's, he's truly worthy of being the fourth member of the Big Four. Some people say that the Big Four is a bit of a sham, but it's real. At one point there was a Big Four in tennis and Andy Murray, Andy Murray was a big part of that. What can you say? He was saying here, and I'll play the video in a couple minutes or a couple seconds now, <laughs> about how Miami is actually a bit of a tennis home for Andy Murray. He trained a lot there. He kick-started his clay season there. He got into shape. He did a lot of off-seasons there. He is also very appreciative of the crowd, a very diverse crowd. You know, a lot of Latin Americans in Florida and Miami, and obviously they want to support the Argentinian Echeverry. Of course, today that was a different case against the Czech Republic player. Regardless, it's a great place, Miami. Yesterday I was talking about Casper Ruud and how he was upset with the organizers, but the tournament itself, the spectators, second to none. So what do you guys think? Do you reckon Andy Murray, should he have retired in the past, a couple of years ago? Or is he right to do this little farewell tour and perhaps retire at Wimbledon or at the US Open or some major tournament at the Olympics perhaps? We'll see. He's definitely worthy in my opinion of doing what he wants. If he wants to play another year, he can, but he has hinted at retirement. And here are the videos, guys. So stay tuned and until next time. Yeah, Miami has been, you know, special place for me during my career. It's like been my tennis home, really. I've done so much of my work and training and preparation here. And yeah, I love, love the city. Um, and yeah, it's just nice to get a chance to play another match like that. Um, in an atmosphere, um, you know, an atmosphere like that at the end, it was, you know, it's really nice. And always when you're playing against the South American players, there's always, you know, an intense, intense atmosphere. But, you know, today I had a lot of support on my side as well. And, you know, they were very fair for both of us. And, yeah, it's just nice to get another opportunity to, to play a, a match here. Um, you know, this is going to be my last time playing in Miami. So, um, yeah, I want to wanted to play, play well and have, have good memories.
Take the 